Hey guys, this is Lamar from Print Ninja 3D. And today I'm going to show you guys maintenance on the print head for the two-in-one lamination UV DTF printer. Currently I've had this printer for six months. Uh, I damaged one print head due to my own fault and error and I'll show you what I did to mess it up but today I want to just basically get into showing you what I do to maintain my print heads because I think it's been going good so I'll let you get a look and see what I do and maybe it can help you guys out too ready let's get into it So the very first thing I want to say is I do not do is I do not wet cap this machine ever. I haven't wet cap this machine. I print every day. At least one color chart every day. As you can see the color chart right here. I print every single day. Um, and when I print, I make sure I print the varnish coat as well as the CMYK color. You see that right there, just that print chart, and then periodically I'll print things like this, just test prints and samples. And I do that at least once a day. I maybe have gone 36 hours without printing anything. And as you can see, when I move this carriage over, There is nothing in there, wet cat at all. It's barely any ink. Um, just a little bit of residuals and residue left over. But, I mean, all I basically ever really do is get a little bit of alcohol and some shop towels. I mean, you guys can use sponges or whatever you think you need to use to get that clean in there but I just use a couple shop towels and some alcohol I use 99% I would say 97% or higher and I dabble a little bit inside each ink pad I put a little bit on a shop towel and I just kind of wipe, wipe this up. Get that wiped up. Sometimes there'll be a little something in here. I kind of wipe that just a little bit. And then, I don't know if you can see, but down in here, this will get soaked from this wiper blade. It'll get a bunch of ink collected up in there. So you kind of get the paper towel in there or something long, get it out. You can take, try and take all that off. I wouldn't bother messing with it at all. Just get something down in there and get that cleaned up. And just a little bit of alcohol and the ink pad. And then I'll just run a head clean. Lock it back. On one head cleaning. And the last time I printed was last night. So we'll see what one head cleaning does. If I do two head cleanings, normal head cleanings from here and I don't get a good one, then I'll go in a print AXP and do a strong head cleaning. And usually 
that works. Do a nozzle check, and we'll see what that looks like. I see the blue right there looks like it's a little missing nozzle. You technically could probably print, but let's see if we can get it clean. So that's one. We do another clean. I don't wipe the bottom of my print head. I don't really do any of that stuff. I just dock it dry and print every day. See what the next one looks like. The second one's almost done. I'll do another clean. I'll do one more clean. So that will be three cleans. I accidentally hit it, so we might as well just you know sit through this. And if this doesn't work, I will go into Print EXP and do a strong cleaning. And that usually, one or two of those usually takes care of it. But generally two, three head cleans and I'm pretty good ready to print. Done. Just run a nozzle. Done. We're good to go. That nozzle check looks good and we're good to print. And a little bit uh, of ink drips off the print head. Um, DTF, you get that. You can go under there and wipe it up if you want. I'll just keep printing, print through it. And there we go. So we can start to uh, print something out and see what it looks like. Here in Print EXP, if you want to do any additional cleanings, like if you couldn't get that uh, your lines clear, you can do a strong cleaning a week in a normal. So I would just do one or two uh, strong cleanings and then the nozzle check. And the object is not to do too many nozzle checks. And that's it. And then from here we go into Print EXP. I already have my color chart set up. I'll show you here with the spot colors. I set this chart to run also my white and also my varnish and I'll show you uh, you probably won't be able to see it but if you get a UV light or if you look at the right angle you can look at your varnish and see if there's any breaks in it I'll try to get you to uh, to see if I can record it so you guys can see it but that's all I do set that and then I run the print and then the color chart prints everything that just to keep the ink flowing through and to keep everything moving through the print head and nothing's been clogged and it's been pushing close to six months so if you look at the date on the initial video I showed showcasing the printer till today that's the time it's been and I did like I said mess one of my print heads up just doing too much and I'll show you what I did there too so maybe you guys with this printer if you uh, run into that same issue, you'll know what to do. Look at that. It's looking nice and clean. Good. It's printing perfect. And then there. Dry. Just the ink from the print head. And as you see, that UV ink doesn't, uh, doesn't get thick like DTF ink. I'll see if I can show you, see how quick I am. You see it? It's runny. So you, you won't have the same problems with the XP600 head and UV DTF as you will in DTF. Even the white, my white's been good. You can look at it and tell. I'll try and get some of that too. See that white? 
runny. It's not sticky or gooey. You know, it'll almost absorb it into your skin. I probably shouldn't do that. Let me clean my hands off. But just so you can see. So I want to see if I can help you guys kind of see the uh, nozzle check so you know what to look for and you can see how this is perfect almost now if you look here in head one you can kind of see there that's your white this might be hard for some of you to see this but that's the white and it looks almost pretty much perfect this is after, like I said, the length of time I've been cranking. And then down here would be head two. Down here, this is harder to see. If you got a UV light or something like that, you'd be able to uh, and turn the lights off, you'd be able to see. But if you look, it looks good. Like if you follow the light on the screen, running across it you can see that looks good so that's what you should want to see on your nozzle check and then the whole key the whole entire key to this is when you are running your color chart or your test prints for your daily maintenance run the varnish too because I've been hearing people complaining about that varnish head being messed up so that's what I would do and you shouldn't have any problems. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how I messed up my print head. This flatbed, I was raising it up and down to clean underneath the print head and over time, there is a sensor that controls the height of your flatbed specifically for this machine. This sensor is here. So from this head carriage moving back and forth, this sensor can loosen. There's a screw on this side. And let me move this over and show you. There is a screw right there. So those two screws can loosen and this will lower. So if that happens, your bed hits a point where it can't get any higher. And what it did was put so much space in between my print head. Now I'll show you. If you look. There's hardly any space. I got it almost touching it. Now, when I messed my print head up, there was probably like two inches of space because this sensor lowered. So what you will do if you have this type of printer is you loosen here and you loosen on the other side and you lift this up a little higher the higher you lift it up the higher your bed goes but not too high and then you lock it in and then you're able to lift your bed back up and get it two millimeters as long as it's not touching is what the factory told me and then that will uh that might solve your issue because your print head will not fire it will be missing all kinds of nozzles. It will look like something is wrong with your print head. And that's the mistake I made. So then I started flushing the print head. And doing all this maintenance to the print head. To get it back and wind up destroying the print head. Well that was the mishap. I fixed that. And since I've been keeping an eye on that. I've been good. So I can't complain. This printer has been doing me really really good. Um, and six months is where I'm at. I do have some backup print heads in case I need to change, but so far so good. 
I just wanted to share that with you guys. As always, if you have any questions, you can contact me through the messenger on our website, printninja3d.com. You can hit us up directly on the comments, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 p.m. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye.